Welcome to another exhilarating episode of Comic Book Straight Talk. Brought to you from the secret basement inside one of America's oldest comic shops, Tulsa's own The Comic Empire. Now, true believers, open up your ear holes and get ready to have your head filled with the best comic book knowledge this galaxy can handle. That's right. It's time for another nerd overload with Comic Book Straight Talk. Welcome back to Comic Book Straight Talk. This is Dalian. Kenny. Terry. Harrington. <laughs> and, uh, and we're back. Uh, we're just going to talk about some new current stuff that's happened in the in, in the comic industry. What's been happening, Dal? Well, uh, well first-wise, death-wise, uh, Mark Alessi, the c- creator and owner and billionaire, whatever, uh, cr- uh, started CrossGen Comics. He passed away a couple weeks ago. Speak up, Dal. I'm speaking up fine. They can hear me fine. Who is it? James. James, we have a customer at the door, so hold on just a second. Okay. And we're back. Okay. Yeah, we got a special guest who just walked in. Yeah, James is here. James? Just James. Just, just James. James. Just James. You can just call just yourself just James. James. Um, anyway, back to about Mark Alessi. Alessi? I always said Alessi. Alessi. Who knows? Uh, he he, he uh, actually took the, the notion with CrossGen out of something that he had read about the Marvel. Uh, the Marvel in the 70s had the bullpen, which they never really did, but they called it the bullpen. But he took it, and uh, with CrossGen, when he formed it, he had the writer, the artist, the inker, the colorist, all that in one area, originally. Had a whole building. A whole building. Had a whole building. He actually really, really kind of, I want to say... Brought in a lot of talent. Do I want to say revolutionized, in a way? Could have. Could have. Could have. Um, But yeah, a lot of artists that are hot now, uh, Joshua Middleton... Got to start there. Um, Steve Epting. Steve Epting. Mike Perkins. Yeah, Perkins. Um, he's had some great writers uh, write for him at the time at Cross Gen. The uh, notables uh, being well, Mark Wade, um, J. M. Dematis. Dematis. Dematis wrote for him. Um, Tony Bedard. Yeah, Bedard got to start Mars. there. Yeah, and I know at, you know through the years. When they were together, when they were together, when they were going, I mean, they had some. They had, if you liked sci-fi books, they had Sigil. Uh, if you liked, you know, coming of age stories, they had Meridian. Palace um, Intrigue with Scion. Right. They had something for really everybody. Adventure or fantasy with Sojourn. 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 Where Greg Land. That's where he got started at. Really. Well, that's I where think. he got real popular. Popular, right? He was at DC before that. Probably one of their. I don't know. I don't think it was all that big of a hit, but it was really good to actually read. But by the title, you wouldn't think it sounds that good because it doesn't. It's that way of the rat. Yeah, but, mm-hmm. it's, but it's a really good book. It's it's overlooked. I always thought their best one only had like three issues. Was Kiss Kiss Bang Bang? Kiss right. Kiss Bang Bang was, was good. Tony, uh, uh, Ruse was good. Ruse, Ruse was Rody? really good. Yes. Yeah. Rody wrote that. Robert Rody. I don't Kiss, remember. Kiss. I think it was <laughs> it's been one. so long. Yeah, uh, I think uh, Mike Perkins drew it though. Yeah, I think so. Um, I know I, I enjoyed them all, and it, they were all separate, except what linked them all was each the main character had a sigil on them. Yeah. Except Sojourn. No, she did. No, she had the sigil. Had a sigil in Sojourn. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, I knew the bad guy had the sigil. Or was that? Was, or was that in Meridian? That may have been in Meridian. It was a part of the Sojourn. <clears throat> was it? Yeah. Maybe she didn't. Maybe it was the bad guy. But she had the wolf. That wolf was awesome, though. Yeah. yeah. The sigil was... In, I, it's been so long since I've read it, but the sigil was in Sojourn, definitely. And, you know, we've talked about yeah. Zenoscope and stuff. But, you know, the Sojourn, the cross gen books still hold up today. Yeah. They're still mm-hmm. awesome to go back and sit and read. And They're still good Kiss Bang Bang was written by Tony Bedard. Oh, it was Bedard. Okay. It, I think it has aged a little bit. It still has that feel of that time period that it came, in, that it came out in, but it's still a good... Worth going back and reading. Still oh, good yeah. reads. The yeah. the big thing about CrossGen not only was that studio mm-hmm. feel, but he also had the creators had benefits, right? And right. they were salaried instead <clears throat> of page rate. And I forgot what happened to them. Why they folded? They just expanded too yeah. fast. And then offering the trade paperback the uh-huh. same month as the last issue, I think. So I think some some business problems. I mean, there I was guess, yeah. there was no incentive to buy the. 
the single, single issues issue. because the trade was going to be out. Well, I think they were the first ones to do the motion comic at the time, I think. Because I know um, there was a Meridian motion book uh, CD that came, uh, DVD had come out. Really? I don't remember that. Um, sure? I saw, yeah, I saw them at Toys R Us. Because I've got just about everything they've done, but I, I, that's new to me. Yeah. They did. Terry's yeah. going to be hitting up I'm the thrift stores. Yeah. <laughs> looking for that now. We're on eBay. Because, right I mean, now. you can yeah. literally pick all that stuff, all their books up, um, probably still now in the quarter bins and the dollar bins. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I've pretty much got most of mine for a quarter apiece. Yeah. To complete um, that. Yeah, I, I enjoy, I'm, I'm a big sci fi fan, so I've enjoyed Sigil a lot. I enjoyed, you know, fantasy stuff with uh, uh, Sojourn and, I mean, I wasn't a big negation fan, but I mean, I liked the Sojourn, I liked Sigil, I liked Scion. Um, Ruse, like you said, was real good. Oh, what was the one with the um, they had sort of the Arabic uh, kind of or feel to it? Um, yes, was good. Um, yes, I know what you're thinking of. They actually Marvel re put it out when they bought it. Was it D or was it DC that bought it? It was Marvel that bought Marvel them, but rights. Well, the two they put out were. Mystic and it was Mystic, yeah, Mystic, Mystic, yeah. I didn't get that it was Arabic. Well, I don't know if it's Arabic, but the woman on it kind of yeah. has that look, that uh, kind of like that Arabian type look to her. Sometimes, when especially they did it, uh, Amanda Connor drew it and may have written it. She, I think so. Yeah, it was nowhere near as good as the original series, though. No, no. no. And they haven't really Marvel hadn't really done much since that. They they mm -hmm. just kind of. They didn't really try, really. Well, they Disney, put out Disney only bought those characters so they could get Abadazid because they wanted to right. make an animated film out of it. Well, and that's kind of going back to like... And they haven't done that yet. No. Yeah. Kind of going back to in the late early 90s when Malibu was around with the Ultraverse. That was a good, a good you know, universe that was starting to start rivaling Marvel and stuff. And then Marvel bought them and shut them down. And so really kind of with Disney now, I mean... Yeah, like you said, they bought them for Abadaz, but I wish they would kind of do something with those. I mean, right, I, like they did a little bit with Sojourn, I think, didn't they? Mm -mm. No. It, or remember they put a new Mystic trade out or something? They did Ruse. No, and, they didn't. Did they? they yeah. Did Ruse. yeah, they did they Ruse. Did Ruse. Yeah. yeah, they did Ruse. And I think that was about it. And, and, and Mystic. And Mystic. Ruse, yeah. Mystic, and Sojourn. Yeah, I thought they did something with Sojourn. Did they? Yeah. I don't remember them I don't doing either. Sojourn. Because I, re I remember reading it. Huh. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, well can you have to go look at that then? <laughs> I'm actually tempted to go back well, and pick it those up now. Well, nearly as good as you know, yeah. the original yeah. series, so. I never read Route 66 either, or 666. But, that you know, I'm not the sure with the, with the it was good. current climate of Marvel, I'm not really sure they need to go back and do them. They'd probably just, you know, mess them up. Mess them up anyway. So. True. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, and another thing that did them in was he came out and said... I'm going to take down Marvel and DC, just mm -hmm. like Vince McMahon right. said about NFL when he started the XFL. And right there, you've already put it's off a lot of your people. You know. you know, actually, we've been talking a lot about Zenoscope. I mean, I know I know that Zenoscope doesn't own the rights to any of that stuff, but I could see some of those characters in the Zenoscope. Definitely Sojourn. Yeah, yeah. So it'd be kind of cool seeing so Sojourn and Robin Hood combined oh, yeah. mixed together. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was announced recently that uh, Teen Titans Season 2, or no, I'm sorry, not Teen Titans, Titans Season 2 will have Batman in it. I don't know if you saw that. I got sh shared the article. Well, Gotham read it also had Joker in it, I guess. I haven't watched it. Well, yes, that, but, but this was actually... Um, Who's going to be doing Batman and Teen it's Titans? It's actually going to be, and I can't pronounce his name, so I'm going to give you the character he played. He plays in Game of Thrones. He's the older one. The Rob Stark? No. The uh, was he was was he the Onion Knight? One of the, the Onion Knight's old. Well, th this is going to be an older kind of grizzled oh, Batman, like a B Batman Beyond type. Well, no, he's just going to be a little older. I can't. It's uh, okay. Ian, Ian. Hang on. We're going to go to James real quick. James, what is it? No, no, not that. James, James can be our producer. <laughs> He's, he's looking stuff up while we're sitting here talking about stuff we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, um, I got it right here, actually, to pull it up. Uh, is it Ian? It looks like it's Glenn. Glenn Close? She could probably make a grizzled bat of that, man. 
L A I N. You know, I have seen that pronounced so, so many Is different. Is it E N? I've seen that pronounced Woen. Well, it could be Woen too. Yeah, I don't know. But it that's actually what he looks, looks like. like him. Oh, that's not, he's playing. Um, he's played a million things. He has. He's yes. not the Onion Knight. He's playing. Uh, oh, he's not the Onion Knight. The the knight that uh, the Daenerys. bear. The bear. He's from the Bear he was, Island. He was um, the evil was his scientist name? in all the Resident Evil movies. He's playing the knight that was from Bear Island who swore his oh, oath to, 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 to Daenerys. Daenerys and kind of betrayed her at the same time. Because he's the he's one that had the scurvy. Or not the scurvy, but the, the scales the and scales, they got healed yes. and came back. Yes, okay, now we know who he is. You all know Jorah who he is. Mormont. Yes. Jorah, Jorah, thank you. Jorah Mormont, Jorah. Yes. From Bear Island. The, the son of the previous uh, Night Watchman head. Um, yes. He's yes. going to play yes. a crazed yes. Batman who's lost it, and the Titans are going to have to stop him. Oh, is that, he? That's right up his alley. It too. is, yeah. yeah he's, he's a good actor. I really enjoy him. He's, uh-huh. he's doing a good role of Jar Mormont. A little bit, maybe a little bit softer feel to his character, Jar Mormont, from, the, from what I read. But, yeah, he's doing a pretty good job. And speaking of Game of Thrones, that's starting back up tonight, I believe, right? It this is tonight. Week, tonight. Well, well, this will be posted tomorrow, so it would have so been... So I am excited you know, about that. Sunday night, yes. I am, I've watched all se- seven seasons so far. <sighs> wow, six, season six and seven. It's season amazing. Season seven ended... Was it two seven years or just ago? Eight? What is it we on now? Eight? It's been like two years. This, this is, is season this eight. This is season eight. Season eight. Because season seven, season. did it not end with the dragon? Yes. Coming yes. back? Yes. They, that's yes. it. Yes. Yes. That's hopefully, yes. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's that'll be good. So um, I, I guess I need to catch up on Teen Titans. I haven't. You know, they did college football coaches as Game of Thrones characters. Oh yeah. And they chose <laughs> for Lincoln Riley at Oklahoma. They chose the the what's his the Night King or whatever his name is. The, the king, the dead guy. The dead guy. The night king. Oh, yeah. Oh, night yeah. King. Okay. yeah. 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 Right. Kind of cool. It makes sense if you read why. I don't remember which website did it. But. i got to catch up on Teen Titans. I've watched the first couple episodes, and it's pretty good, but I haven't got caught up with it. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I still haven't seen Doom Patrol yet, so... Doom Have Patrol you is Doom Patrol. You're a big Doom Patrol fan, Terry. I've been watching Doom Patrol. I, I, I don't think I'm as far as long as Kenny is. But I'm a little, a couple of episodes behind, but I've enjoyed Doom Patrol. I think it's a very good show. Is it Crazy good? Jane makes that show. Crazy Jane's good. I, I mean, what's like I said <laughs> but before, she was good in Orange Is the New Black too. Yeah. So as as a big Doom Patrol fan, it, is the show a good represent- representation of Doom Patrol, or is it is it I, I think so. As a fan, no, or no, happy or? no. For the most part, it's 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 a decent representation of it. I'm not. It has more of the Grant Morrison run filled. Probably, it, yeah, it? yeah. But I mean, for the most part, they're keeping. Well, I mean, not true to the characters per se that originally were created, but for the most part, they are. I mean, they have changed stuff that's been changed in the comics, you know, a little bit. Well, because in Robot Man in the comics, isn't he kind of goofy? Acting? Yeah, he's kind of a goofy guy. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, Negative Man was not all like originally. He wasn't a, a, a gay, and they you know, that changed in the comics though. So they are still using that portion of it from. That's probably from the Grant Morrison. Run, I'm guessing. I don't remember. Or they may have just done it for the show. Could have been. So not a big deal. Pretty good show. Now, in the comics, does Negative Man hate the the entity that's in him? Yeah, I mean, uh, from what I remember reading, and it's been so long since I've read some of the old stuff. He didn't. I don't remember if he hated him, but no, he didn't like that. Didn't like Negative Man per se. Yeah. Didn't hate him, but didn't like that he had to. That he had to be bandaged up and had to, you know, bring this entity out of him and stuff. So. Yeah. Why the one, did the he one have to be bandaged up? Because he was in a, uh, an aircraft. He was a pilot. And had it. He crashed yeah. and burned our. Yeah. Okay. And he's like radioactive in the TV right, show. Right, yes. He's also radioactive as well, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Good show. Definitely worth watching. And DC sounds like they're going to be coming up with some more interesting stuff. I mean, I don't really want to uh, keep, you know, buying a, another 
channel to. But well, everybody keeps a, coming out with good stuff, though. I heard it was announced and that they're releasing all for on their streaming thing, all the the DC comics, the Bronze, Gold, and Silver Age that they have scanned already, or it's been is being put on their DC network or nation or whatever it is. I think what they need to do though is they need to, if they're going to keep releasing those omnibus, they need to really get somebody to go back and recolor those because. The omnibuses that have been coming out, the coloration on it is awful. It's like they did at Microsoft Paint. They just took a the big paint bucket and just, <laughs> there's the line art and just said, Whoop, just plop well, some paint the, down They there. fired the editor. Well, that was in charge of all the the uh, well, th- collections. Th- well, before the omnibuses yeah, you know, came out, they they had that same look in some of the previous uh, volumes as well of the Golden Age stuff. So, so you know, you that's kind of a graphic design thing, and it's not rocket science. <laughs> it's yeah. not, yeah. Do what, James? Are you saying that the DC thing is going to be like Amazon Prime, where there's different, there's video portion, and there's a downloadable portion, and there's there's I, multiple different things? I don't know if it's going to be digital or download, but apparently on their they're going to be releasing. Like I said, that's just what I've 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 been hearing and reading. So you kind of sounds like, you, but yeah, you're going to be able multimedia. to read multimedia. Yeah, yeah, read yeah. comics and watch TV cool. and watch. Movies. Now it's only of stuff they already have scanned though, so right. it's like you know. But still, being able to get a lot of the Golden Age stuff. I mean, actually understand some of the characters that Grant Morrison writes about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> he has the only copy of. The whole of the book <laughs> with the character. Isn't, aren't they going to uh, be releasing Hush pretty soon as an animation? They that, that I think that's the next Batman animated. Right now we have Justice League and the Fatal Five. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Getting ready to come out. No, that's out. Oh, it's out now. I think it's out. I think it comes out on physical media. I think it was out on Tuesday. digital. It's digital. Okay, yeah. So it came out digital, digital now, week. and it's physical media. I'm still. I need, still need Tuesday. to watch the two previous, the Superman ones. So I well, I'm looking forward yet. to the Hush. I'm look, looking forward to seeing how they do that. I'm. I wonder. I didn't. I haven't read. But who's, do you know who's doing the art in the animation for that? No. I wonder if they're going to try to do it as a, a Jim Lee style. Will that work? I think did so. That? Yeah. I mean, I uh, in an anime get the old mm-hmm. Wildcats team together to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You that's yeah. That's another series. I need to go back and read. Carrington and I finally watched Batman and Harley Quinn. That animated movie. I haven't seen it yet. I have it's, it. It's hilarious. Is it? Carrington loved it. Either. She's, She's over snickering. Yeah. Have you seen the new Suicide Squad one? The yeah. I think pay? I watched like the first yeah. half of it. The Hell to Pay one. Yeah, the one that just I came out. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the first one. I mean, that scene where they blow the head off of the KGB beast. Right. It's like holy crap in an animated. But yeah, that was good. Anyway. Yeah. That was based off a story that was in it. It cut across Birds of Prey and mm-hmm. uh, Secret Six. Have you seen Shazam yet, Kenny Carrington? Not yet. No, you guys should go see Shazam. Was it, we we just finally got around to seeing it, uh, me and Dal, and it was a, it was a fun movie. It really was. Um, there again, I don't know anything about Shazam. I, did, it's too did much. Your, did your invite get lost, Kenny? Hey, apparently. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, guys. Um, well, no, Dal always decides to go on Friday night when I'm at work. Dal decides to But not now, though, because now your, your time's change, right? That's going to be a while. Oh, okay. No. So um, it's not a, not well, a, they got to get a new supervisor in, okay. and i got to train them and all that. So. Okay. Um, yeah, I definitely, um, I mean, I know who Shazam is. I know, I know rudimentary. I know a little bit about him. I don't know, you know, like... Can't tell you stories he's that he's prominent in or anything, but I mean I can I know the the backstory and all that. And I went in thinking, okay, for everything I've heard, it's gonna be really good. So every time I've heard that before, I'm like, oh, it's gonna suck. Um, but I I loved. It. I thought it was great. I, I, I thought it was really fun. Yeah, I said, great's too good strong of a word. I'll say it, it was a fun and I loved it. So I went into thinking it was gonna have sort of that comedy of of kick ass, and it did, but not as I guess. Hard, Blatant, not as hardcore, Blatant, yeah. Vulgar, not as vulgar. As, it, it, what, it was sort of fun movie like Kick Ass, but not vulgar. Where Kick Ass has some vulgar language and stuff like that. Uh, Shazam didn't. Well, no, because they purposefully made it a family. Yeah, movie. yeah. Right. Well, I thought it was really positive, also, and about you know the the whole foster home thing, and you know trying to make that into into a positive instead of a negative. That's so much 
in in our life is about negative on that. So I, th- I thought that was good. And the battles were really good too between Shazam and the bad guy were really pretty good. I was worried when we had the bat the big battles it was going to be like a, a Man of Steel where they destroy the city, right? You know, but it, no, it really was it was so. pretty well done. I heard the the sidekick kid is what makes the movie. He is he's pretty good. Yes. Yeah, Freddy. Definitely. Freddy's good. Yeah, the, the, you see a little, a little bit of it in the uh, in the in the uh, trailers about them trying to figure out his powers and stuff, so that's a lot of fun. They carry that on through it. Mm-hmm. And they also carry on trying to figure out what his name is going to be throughout it. And all the names they come up with for him Captain are Sparkle just, Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Sparkle. Uh, Thunder, uh, Captain Thundercrack or something like that was one of the early ones. <laughs> and he's nice. like, that like, sounds like a bud joke or something. Now, yeah. is, did, does he become Captain Marvel Jr.? Well, that's uh, spoiler alert. Hey, spoilers. Hold yeah. on. Uh, there well, are no, no. They, okay, no, 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 yeah, no, no. let's not. All right, then. Move on. So does he call himself Captain Marvel, or does he call himself Shazam? I don't actually think do, they, they don't ever call, call him Captain no. Marvel ever. If you've seen it. the toys out in the toys market at Walmart or something, then you know the spoiler. Yes. So, I mean, there you do have Captain Marvel Jr. So... I mean, the toys have been out. For, I just wouldn't spoil it. Well, because the toys have been out for two months. I mean, yeah, if you see, you know, action figures. Well, it's, and it's obvious you're going to have a Mary Marvel in there right off the bat. So. Yes. Yes. Um, and what's funny is I didn't realize it that, you know, DC's putting out the Shazam book, which I knew they were, but apparently it picks up a year after the movie. So in a way, it's, it's kind of a sequel to it because they're all, you know, mm-hmm. in it, so... And, and, and I read the first issue of that, and it, it, it picks up, it has the humor of the movie and everything, and of course it's Jeff Johns, and, and so he's doing it, so. Another, another spoiler alert, sort of, but right off the bat at the beginning of the movie, you know you're, there's going to be Mr. Mind in it a little bit. So. But the main bad guy is Dr. Savannah, right? Right. Right, yes. Yeah. So Which yeah, I know nothing about. And see, I didn't either. I don't right. know who he is either, so. Is it Shazam? Black Adam. I no, always, no, Black Adam. No. I always thought of Shazam as just another, you know, Boy Scout character like Superman. So I've never bothered to read. I see, him. same here. But it's funny because really when, he, when is, he becomes Shazam, he still has the mentality of a little twelve-year-old. So yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, he's right. And, and the whole thing it's sort of like that a Starman series that I read years ago with Will Payton. Not Will Payton. Was it? Was it Will Payton? Will Payton. Will Payton. Yeah. He's trying to learn all his powers and stuff. And and that Starman series was really good up for like. 19 issues or something like that him trying to learn how to be a superhero and stuff that's what you get with this movie him just trying to figure this all out as a kid so. and buy beer and buy and beer, buy beer yeah <laughs> the scene they show him the teasers the trailers where they're trying to he's fighting Savannah he grabs the bat, Batman go get him Batman <laughs> it's like I'm Batman they're, they're, they're doing te- yeah. another thing that's pretty funny is they're doing some tests and the kid's marking all this stuff off his, his sidekick basically and they're doing one to where to see if he can teleport, and he's hiding in one box, and there's another box he's supposed to teleport in there, and then you see him flash to a secret fire test. <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> he's spraying it with with the the liquid gasoline, ga- gasoline or something, and lights it on fire. <laughs> Lighter fluid, Might have, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, definitely go see Shazam. It's real good. Um, so yeah. Okay. Well, we're, you were going to say something else, though. You, uh, you uh, wanted to talk about I know you else. haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, no. If, are you talking you about have, Stars? Have you seen the you Star Wars trailer? You talking about Star Trek? <laughs> no, you haven't seen the Star Wars trailer? Star you Wars haven't seen it. I have not seen the Star Wars trailer. I have seen it. What did you think? I'm just tired of them. I Shut liked up. it. <laughs> it. I wish they quit. Shut up. It, it looks interesting, but they all look interesting at that right. point. Right. I mean, it's a right. teaser trailer. Um, if you've obviously if you've seen the the trailer and heard it, you know you'll you know who's back. So I'm not going to say anything. Oh, um, you spoiled what Shazam. Well, <laughs> that's been out for a few weeks. Have you seen the teaser trailer for the new Mandalorian TV show? No, I'm behind on seeing the. Is it look good? Yeah, it's uh, Pedro Pascal is playing. A Mandalorian bounty hunter. Cool. Now that's Art, the one that's. Um, he was the good guy slash bad guy in uh, Kingsman Two. And I haven't he seen was it. In Triple Frontier, which is a new movie on Netflix. I haven't seen Isn't it. he on, on Game of Thrones? Oberon. Martell. Maybe. Maybe. 
Was it Martell? Is there yeah. anyone that's yeah. not on Game of Thrones? Either well, on Game of true. Thrones or Law and Order. We've discussed this. One. So are, any, are any of the animated uh, Star Wars are they be, are they become canon now? Everything is in canon now. So all, all, all the when Disney, stuff when is Disney acquired them, shortly after they put out a book called A New Dawn. So from when that book forward, anything that is on screen or written. So, so anything where, where in where comics? Does, where does are, any of the Dark Horse stuff fall? Is any of that canon? At that all? is ex, that that's ex considered like legendary. No, not yet. They are putting some stuff. They are they are there? putting some stuff back in as canon. They're, like Mara Jade, doing. I would love to see her as right. canon. And in the films, I would love to see Mara Jade right. in the films. One of my favorite characters. And I'd like to see those uh, the, uh, the 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 Crimson. Uh, Crimson Guard. The Crimson Guard. Yeah. Uh, the I thought you were going to say the Yuvon Boo. No, the Crimson Guard would make a great movie. We don't need the Yuvon in it. So they killed it, I think. Um, so should you watch the animated? Does, does, uh, are the animated any of those Clone Wars and Rebels? Do they really fit into the canon of the movie? Yes. So yes. should they be watched? Yes. Yes. Okay. It's our friend Jenny. See, she was watching them. all those. She was watching all the Clone Wars and stuff. And Clone Wars was awesome. And what's out currently that's been going on? What's out? What's the end? Rebels is finished, and they're getting ready to do Resistance. Well, weren't they doing something just here recently though? That was was after Rebels though, or was it just a continuation? Well, Resistance is set after Jedi, and it deals with the First Order. Okay, getting formed. Um. So that's 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 an assignment I need to make for somebody. Mandalorian been, is set after Jedi. I've been but I have to watch heard that they are going to do a. I don't know if it's a TV series. Um, it's kind of set in the um, oh the the, the the time you like. Um, the are we video game. Star Wars and Empire. No, the game you. Oh, play. from the from the uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Yes. Oh man, those yes. two movies are two games are. Those are just amazing. They so, may, they may be better than anything else they put out in Star Wars. Maybe. They're really good. Um, and now, the teaser trailers they did for those yeah. are just stunning. I mean, they're a little outdated Have they done the teaser trailer as, for those? Yeah, they, they did... Oh, you're talking about before, but not this weekend. No, no, no. This is... They're, they're old. Okay, okay. Yeah, but for the really game. They're really well done, and they... You know, it's characters that they could easily flesh out, and... The, the, the graphics now are probably a little outdated, but not a lot. I mean, it's still really Steam, good graphics. Steam, uh, GOG has gone through and updated the, a lot of those graphics. Are they, uh, I don't know if they updated them that much, but yeah, they're available. If you you can get them on GOG. Old mm -hmm. Xbox discs into an Xbox 360, it will download an upgrade. For both of them? One and two, or just one? <laughs> I think okay? just one. Oh. Possibly two. I need to go back and play those. I mean, I, I enjoyed the heck out of those things. You can say hell, it's okay. Um, can I say that? But it's, say not, about, but it's not, it's not just one of the seven words. Right. backwards <laughs> compatible. It it uses the disc as like a digital rights thing. Right, like, and like, then hey, it you downloads right. a new version that can run on the Xbox One. Now they did release... You can, you can even play those on your iPad or your yeah. maybe even your Android now, yeah. I think, as well. Yeah, you, you I don't can, know if they'd be as good that way. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Yes. One of the guys in our D and D gaming group was playing uh, Knights of the Old Republic on the iPad last night while he was trying to game with you. And this no, is, this, was, oh, okay, okay, this okay. was years ago. Yeah. Um, they yeah. did release a trailer for a new game that comes out this fall. Um, the Gray Knights. I've heard Something about like that. that. It's it's supposed to be you're, it's a. It's a. It's about a Jedi who survives Order sixty six, and he's like the only Jedi now, or something, you know, kind of deal. And it looks it looks pretty cool. It'll be on all the platforms, PlayStation four, Xbox, and all that. So now, do you think the Christmas special will ever become canon? It kind of has to be. You think so? Because well, it's the first Prince of Boba Fett. Yeah, it is the first Prince of Boba Fett, but it's also. Although the Boba Fett, the Boba Fett story was actually pretty good, but the the uh, the story with the the Wookiee story was not very good at all. I don't know. Are the Ewok movies going to be? I don't know. Are, are considered canon? I don't know. I don't know. I hope not. And James and I were talking, and maybe you too. Um, well, no, it had to be James. I actually hadn't seen the trailer. Um, yeah. We were talking about the the Death Star shell, James. Uh huh. In that trailer, and were you saying it's a forest moon? 
Well, it just looks... Because it looks like water. It's like it's in the water. It looks like it's over on a lake, but then yeah. there's trees around it and stuff. And so, yeah. Because you said, you're thinking, he, I'm not sure it's indoor or something like that, yeah. Yeah, and I don't know, I mean, if it is, I, yeah, I don't know. It could be back on indoor and a lake on indoor that we don't know about, so. But it'll be interesting. We've got that coming out in December, so that will be so cool. So. If you're a Star Wars fan. If you're Star Wars um, If it is cool. It will be cool. J.J. Abrams is back. We don't have Ryan or Rain uh, no. doing it. So, no. would you prefer Rain to do it? I don't know. I mean, Rain I, did the last one. Well, yeah, I didn't care for the last one, but it was better than the uh, the Phantom Menace and the those three. Well, it was better than those. Although I thought the third one was decent, but the first one of that that you're run, just saying the third one's decent because you know Christy liked it and you don't want to no, make her no, mad no, at you. It was actually, yeah, yeah, you. <laughs> True, but no, I, I it was, but yeah, you do not want to get the wrath of Christy either. She, she's mm-hmm. she, she can be yeah, yeah. Outside of Empire Strikes Back being the best one, I think true. The order that came out in is probably the best order. I like. I well, like, no, because the third prequel was better than the first two. Well, where would you throw Rogue in there as well? Well, Ro- my f- personal favorites go Empire, A New Hope. Uh, Rogue One, and then with you? and then uh, Han Solo. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you all the way there. And then if I had to Jedi. go, then I have to go. Then if and I had Jedi, to go with the other yeah. one, then I'd be the third of the Jedi. Would have been better if they hadn't had the Ewoks. Oh yes, totally. But see, I liked in a way. I Although had... I do like role playing Ewoks. Well, <laughs> in, in, in games. <laughs> That's fun. one thing I, I will say. I do like about Jedi's uh, special edition is that last scene. Lucas and I hate I hate the other parts of it, but he you don't have the Ewoks singing. And instead, they're there playing, the, doing the song and mm-hmm. everything, and you see the celebrations are all around the galaxy. I like that part of it. Um, I liked the Force Awakens, and I'm going to defend myself here because I can see the look on your face. Um, yes, I know it, it was just redoing a New Hope, but in a way, it's going back to the original script that he wrote. You know, the base was called the Star Killer Base. You know, and it's and it, as something I said in the in, in the new trailer. You know, what is it? Everything is not. Nothing has ever truly gone. Right. So. Nothing. Yeah. So I mean, if you have design, if they see the designs and they knew how terrifying the Death Star was, a whole planet like that would be even more terrifying. So in a way, I see it, but and I, and, I, and I see your point, your argument about how it. Why are you just giving me this blank look on my fa- on your face? I'm just listening to you, your chatter. <laughs> no, thank you. At least you. Can, <laughs> me, me, me. Anyway, but no, I I understand. Yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, it was just a remake, but you know, in a way, they kind of it makes sense. So. All right, you say so. Now I'm still trying to make sense of the Last Jedi. I need to watch it again. I don't think there's any making sense of that. I don't know. So, uh, how close are you to getting all your Xenoscopes done on Robin Hood's? Um, I story wise, I'm probably over three fourths. Uh, regular cover wise, I'm about two thirds. Right. Um, if you throw in all the exclusive covers, I'm way way. I, I, I keep I, I keep finding exclusive covers I like, and, I, and I find the ones I'm get uh, that I'm trying to have Mike reorder are like the C covers. Oh, that's Zenoscope anyway. That's yeah. like the magic cover is you cover C. Anybody out there that actually owns every Zenoscope cover that's been put out? Yes. There was a Jeez. time that they're probably if if and I can say this because I know even all the exclusives. Okay. Yeah. There, there was a I time and I can say this without without Kenny getting mad. Back when Kenny started collecting, if Zenoscope was to the level now that they are, he would have all of them. Yep. Yeah. There he, was a time when I said well, that I would have had all the regular. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, what? There was a time when I signed up for every Xenoscope. There book, was, every yeah. Cover. Yeah. Now I'm more selective, but yeah, I, there was a time I'm just like. So I, I remember says, Kenny's Zenoscope collecting back in the day. <laughs> well, just, I, I'm just thinking uh, there were so many covers for Xenoscope in the first place, and then there was all those exclusives as well. Just wow, that's. that's well, that's but yes, I, th- I think there are. Xenoscope fans out there that yeah. probably have all of the exclusives, but they've, they've also done art books too, where you can kind of get sure. a huge chunk of those. Well, they've done covers, the gallery right? covers, yeah, the gallery covers. Yeah, they've done like a because like, they did like a Wizard of Oz. They did an Oz all the covers and stuff. Uh, I know they did Van Helsing. Yeah, but it wasn't all of the covers. It was just the main so some of the better if ones. You were, 
being a little bit more selective and, and a little bit tighter on money, you could buy just the the book, one or two, one or two covers, and then yeah. originally get yeah. those galleries and uh, have the majority of the covers. Because so. I've been looking at the cosplay variants they've done for some of them. There's a lot of them that are really cool. Now Even, they do yeah, a cosplay special. Like every year or every other year or so, and they'll have a bunch of those cosplay really? okay. covers in them. And they're called they're called cosplay covers. They're not people actually dressed as the characters. They're more like their characters dressed as other characters. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like mm-hmm. the one I post, I, I shared one earlier today was uh, Hell Child dressed as Assassin's an Assassin Creed Assassin's outfit, Creed. which I'm gonna have to get. They've so. done like Boba Fett and. Um, like a stormtrooper. Stormtrooper. They've done Robin Hood Tomb Raider. Han Solo. I They've think. They've got one that'll come out next week with the blue Twi'lek. No, oh. the that that one's old. Uh, they've got a character that looks like Mary Marvel. Yes. And they've done a Phoenix one. So yeah, they've done a lot of really cool. They've done I've look. I've, I've Gwenpool and. Didn't they do Gwenpool? No. Or no? Or was I thinking um, Deadpool? No, not Deadpool, but uh, they've Lady. done Mary Jane. They've done Lady Deadpool. I thought they did. I thought they okay. They did Lady. I thought they did a Gwen they, something. I don't think so. Somebody did. They done Batgirl and Supergirl. And they did Spider Gwen. Spider Gwen. Okay. They okay. did. Uh, I'm to find Santana. that one too. They've uh, done a They've bunch. done a Doctor Strange. <laughs> yes, that's my next one I'm getting to. Dark I think. Phoenix. Phoenix. I'm going to start Phoenix. going broke on getting these Inescope cosplay covers now. Yeah. <laughs> so. you definitely go broke fast. Yeah, that. yeah mm-hmm. well. So. Cut my list here. Especially the when there's, they're limited to 10 and they're 250 bucks. Well, well, some well, of these, them are, are, these are like 350 right, Yeah, But yes, there are some yeah. that we saw that were that way that look yeah. nice too. Some of them are a little bit more... Risque. Risque. Now, some oh, of the yeah, limited to ten ones are pre-release, and you get your name on them. Yeah. And then they release in a less limited thing later for a still big, but not as big price tag. Cool. And they oh, when that, Robin, be like, when that Robin Hood comes out, you know, there'd out, be like ten <laughs> covers, and you get your name on it for three hundred and fifty bucks. Ooh. And then once it comes out, there's you know a hundred covers, and it doesn't have your name on it, and it's two hundred bucks. And what, uh, what, oh, uh, what, well, yeah. big, but it's not <laughs> three hundred fifty. Or you can wait until they do an art print of it. How do, how do they print your name in there? Is it like is it printed in gold or something like that? Twenty four karat gold or well, they're uh-huh. they're called gallery editions, yeah. so I mean, yeah, it could be. be it could be printed yeah. on there in fourteen karat gold. Yeah, <laughs> but it's got you know the high quality, almost canvas like paper. paper. Right, right. And I have a gallery edition, but I can't remember what it is. Aria, I think, from Anacleto. Yeah, I remember they did those. Yeah. Yes, the linen paper. Yeah, yeah. Um, Carrington, you still reading? Or, sorry, I didn't even just startle you there. I'm sorry. Uh, My Hero Macadamia, Academia. Academia. Macadamia. Macadamia. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. I haven't read it, but I... Yeah, but you're watching it, though. Yeah. And it's still good, still. Would Terry like it? <laughs> I don't know. I am no, like knowing, knowing what does, you know of does Terry... Does Terry like anything? Knowing what you know of Terry, would I you think like he that. would... And, and the story, you think he would like it? I'm is, actually is it interested. better than Highlander 2? <laughs> there is no Highlander 2. <laughs> <laughs> She's just looking at me like, what? what? She, she, she mentioned some some anime that I hadn't heard of. Uh, but it sounded interesting. Uh, the one about the cat. My, my roommate, roommate the cat. The cat. And, and it translates really bad or something like that. Because I remember reading that, the translation of it. It's kind of funny. That sounds kind of interesting, coming from both points of view, of the, the cat and the owner. Yeah. It sounds like some fun adventure here. Stories. Are they still doing splitting the show in half where the first half is him and his point of view and the second half is the cat's point of view? Yeah, but they've been like mainly focusing on the guy right now. Oh. And they've only had like a few minutes of the cat. Yeah. But yeah. They're still like doing it from both points of views. So it, he names the cat Haru from a character from one of his favorite books. And the cat thinks Haru means food. Because every time he calls her, he says, Haru, food, and he puts the food out. So whenever she hears her name, she thinks she's getting food. 
And then she shows up and there's no food and she's like, are you just teasing me? <laughs> <laughs> um, did you ever watch the Netflix Castlevania? I started... I think I got about 20 minutes into it and had to do something yeah. else and forgot to go back and watch more of it. But it seemed pretty good. Yeah, I watched the first episode I just when it came out and I haven't watched it since, so I just didn't know. They also just put out the an animated uh, Ultraman on Netflix, yeah. which I watched the first couple episodes and looks promising. A little slow, I would say, um, building up the story, but... Does he do? It? Does he do the "Let's go, Ultraman" kind of movement with his hands and stuff? I don't think I've gotten to where he changes oh, or anything. Okay. No, I don't remember that. I've got the original so series. So there's though. like oh. four different people that are claiming the right to Ultraman to oh, be really? Ultraman or something. Oh, and in the series, in the yeah, series. in the series. Um, no, like the bad guy. Not doesn't, the first episode. No, the bad really. guy doesn't think the kid is. Good enough to be Ultraman, so well, he wants to be actually, Ultraman. Or there's something. yeah, there's yeah, the uh, from what I've seen uh, uh, from the first one or two episodes I watched, the uh, the guy is old now. He's an older guy now, um, and there is another guy uh, like doesn't he thinks he's too old to be the Ultraman anymore. Yeah, yeah, so. but no, like the kid that is chosen to be Ultraman, like the bad guy doesn't think the kid is worthy. Or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something like that. I have to rewatch it. But from what I watched, it looked like it would be pretty good. So check that out. Cool. Have you finished Sabrina the new, uh, season two yet? Mm hmm. Yeah. I, I got started it on it, but I, ha I haven't finished it. How do you manage to binge these things, man? I don't find the time to do that. No, Carrington watched almost all of it in one day. Jeez. I... <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I thought this. Carrying on so far, it's been pretty good. The first, I think, one or two episodes I've watched. I haven't seen any of them. So. so, I'm still ready for Roz and Susie to go away, or Theo to go away now. Yeah, that I think that was in the first one or two episodes. The whole where she changes her name to Theo. I was yeah. Like, eh, yeah. The, 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 that those particular characters were kind of getting on my nerves, and I just wanted to concentrate on the uh, her and, and the, the the school she's in and everything. The, Magic school that is. So, um, I don't know. I need to finish watching that though, because I really enjoyed the first season. I need to start, but I got so many series I need to start watching and finish. So, and I and I noticed that there's this there's also this new Netflix movie that's out um, called Silence, which she's in. It looks like she's maybe one or two years younger before she starts Sabrina, and also her mother playing that is um, Auntie. One, it's one of the aunts in Sabrina. Oh, okay. Uh, the old, the uh, taller one. Uh, is playing yeah. her mother in the silence. So There's I started watching Silence. I haven't she finished was that. Zelda. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So she was in Homeland too. That might be worthwhile. Silence so far I started, I haven't finished it. So far it's been pretty decent. So it just seemed like a quiet place to me. I think the I premise that. Yeah, sounds yeah. like a quiet yeah. place. Yeah. So but so far it's okay. I did like Quiet Place. I finally watched it and it was pretty good. So and then, you know uh I can't remember her name now, but she was the daughter in Mad Men. Sabrina? Yeah. Character? Mm -hmm. uh, Starts with a K. Yeah. Kiriana or something like that. I can't remember either. Yeah. So. Cool. What else, Dal? Anything else? Um, did you read Amber about? Blake? Jumping back to comics, sorry. I have not read Amber Blake. Is that the one that came out magazine size? Yes. Yeah, I have not read that yet. I do have that, but I have not read it. And did it's you like, read it, James? I did. Holy yet. hell, guys! They have like a variant of that magazine yeah. size. It's like it's like a hundred dollars now. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> but here's the thing: I think the regular cover's better. Yeah, it's a nice cover. the The variant is really nice. I like it. It's painted. And right. It's a really nice cover, but I just think the the regular cover's better. Uh, I read it and I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's like your typical kind of join a secret organization to save the world kind of thing. But I, I, it looks better than what I would say Ruck has done lately in that genre. So, I mean, I think Ruck had kind of hit his, hit his stride and then kind of lost it with uh, Lazarus. And so... I think he just kind of lost it, period. Well, Lazarus yeah. is, is definitely to a point where it 
there doesn't need to be anything else really done to it. No. it needs to but isn't it coming out with a new series? It is coming yes. out with a new series, yes. Yeah. So, so we'll see. Yeah. Anyway, check it out. It was really good. Amber Blake from IDW, magazine size. No, I've been trying to get caught up on Grimm's Fairy Tales, or <laughs> Grimm Fairy Tales. I went back and started at issue 100, or 101, mm-hmm. so I would know about... Right, I stopped at 100. So I went back to 101 through 125 so I would understand what, why they keep referring to Arcane Acre and what happened at Arcane Acre. I have those trades downloaded, and I need to sit and read all those. <laughs> They're pretty good. They're kind of like, you know, the Gen, the Gen X of... Or Generation X okay. of, or Gen thirteen right. of Grim Fairy Tales and okay. And then I started in on Volume Two because there's twenty six issues of that, and mm-hmm. I'm at like issue nine, so I haven't been reading a lot of new stuff. That's a lot. Of stuff Except to read. Robin Hood Outlaw, which is awesome. Yeah, it's like the best series on the shelf. Should be picking it up. Yeah. Um. I really enjoyed Howard Mackey's writing on it. Now, I thought the uh, mentioned this. But he's a good writer anyway. Yeah. I, mean, I thought Silencer was coming to an end, and then all of a sudden, this last issue of Silencer came out, and now it's like on the top ten list. Has this new character Smoke? Still has, I guess, one of the la- last few titles that still has a tie into uh, Dark Metal. Mm-hmm. So, but I think it's over at eighteen. Is it going to be yeah. still, still going to be ending? Because just about all the other titles have already ended, except yeah. Curse of Brimstone. I think. I don't think but it's, it's ending. ending. It's, it's ending. ending. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so Silencer may be the last of those titles to maybe to hang around. To hang around, yeah. But isn't that the way? Anytime they do a big spinoff with lots of different, you know, they they find that one character that sticks. They did the annuals that one year. And each each annual had a new character, right. and like the, Hitman. Right. That's one of the few that stuck from and that. And Gunfire. You can't forget Gunfire. Of course, he's <laughs> dead now, but, you know, let's not forget Gunfire. I haven't read a lot of Silencer, but what I have read I, I thought was pretty interesting. I think it's a character that'll stick around and be showing up yeah. in some other Hopefully. stuff. Hopefully. We don't know what happens in 18. She may I die. Could see she, may, she should she may, die. I think she should join Suicide Squad. It'd be good, yeah. And well, like and last issue introduced a new character, Smoke, so, so another character has been introduced. Kind of a character that she has no effect on. Yeah. So. Yeah. That would make sense. <laughs> I hate it when they when the, when characters introduce themselves in in TV shows, movies, etc. Because they always have to announce, "I am Smoke," or "I am called Smoke," and it just, yeah. it just sounds so silly. Why you announce yourself? You don't even need to do that. Just yeah. s- find some other way of announcing your name or whatever. You know, they or just show like the name placard on a door or, <laughs> or something. something you, know. you know, it's always so silly when the the bad guys or even the good guys are announcing, "I am called Smoke," or "I am called this or that." You know. It's, Find some other ways. So you're gonna start walking me? Come here. I am Terry. Yeah. Like that now. <laughs> yeah. Well, he does that already. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're gonna have entrance music. You know. Uh, I am. I'm gonna play. It. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get my uh, my new. Uh, Mr. Microphone. No, not my oh. Mr. Microphone. My. Uh, oh, what did I pick up? That that rocker thing. Pocket rocker. My pocket, pocket rocker. rocker. <laughs> that old. Uh, oh, oh, we'll put that out. Now. Kenner? Fisher Price. The Fisher Price is an old Fisher Price little thing, yeah. The Pocket Rocker. I have that and I'll play some I thought you sold it. I haven't sold it yet. No, I haven't got it up yet. I ain't going to, though. Yeah. Okay. So. All right, anything well, else you want to talk about? No, nah, that's pretty much ran the gambit. All right. You got anything? Cool. No, I'm, I'm pretty pretty much done. I don't have anything else to talk about, really. James? James? Nope. Nope. Carrington? <laughs> <laughs> She's already talked about where she went. <laughs> Put her on the spot there. All right, well, this is Dalian. Terry. Kenny. Carrington. James. Hey, take care. (laughs) Have a good one. Bye.